Talking some this morning with Chad Bromley over at Ritter at Home at the 105 and Major Drive location. We talked a little bit about yard work, and now let's talk a little bit about things we can do on the patio after we've done the yard. Most definitely. I think it's, it's a prime time as far as for people to get out and kind of take a look at, at what they have to actually fix up and what they want to add as far as accessory wise to their decks and, and different stuff of that nature. So I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity, especially since we got some pretty weather coming in that people yeah. can see some of the accessories that we have. Now, let me ask you first of all about price points. I mean, can we find a pretty broad range of price points when it comes to patio furniture these days? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, normally, you know, it, this is our, our peak time as far as on our advertising side. So if our, if our folks and our shoppers out there would just check, take a look at our circulars, we always have at least one patio suit right now on sale, and then it just kind of blows up from then. I mean, Kevin's just taking a snapshot as far as on what basically we have advertised right now on our sales floor as of today. Okay. And, and again, when we talk about patio furniture, I mean, it could be everything from a basic chair and a small table. Although, I mean, some of these today, they're almost look like they're nice enough to go inside your home. Oh, no doubt. I mean, you know, the furniture, the quality of furniture that you get or that you can get nowadays, Dan, you're right. You could definitely put it in a sunroom easily. Uh, it's just not the typical slat wood that you just throw yeah. outside and hopefully the weather takes it over after that. Right. Right. So, so uh, talk to me about some, I mean, I, I would think care would be an issue that we would think about. Uh, the room that we have available for the furniture as to what we're going to buy, metal versus, and some of these new plastics, they look just like metal. Yeah, I mean, like this typical one right here, this bistro set that we have here, it's a little taller. Um, it's, a little, it's definitely a whole lot fancier, there's no doubt about that. Uh, it is lightweight. You definitely want to make sure during the winter months that you throw either like a barbecue pit cover over the top of it or even a patio furniture cover over the top of it. But it's yeah. definitely something that's a little bit more upscale, more of a, like a patio home type of look there. But we've got, I mean, as you've seen, there's probably six to eight different sets of bistro sets just with the, the two sets seat uh, abilities that, that people like to actually sit at and just look. Yeah, and, and the one thing I'm going to end on real quickly, Chad, is umbrellas. You know, a lot of us have patio umbrellas that we bought five years ago that came with a set. These days, though, you can definitely buy replacement umbrellas, right? From a six foot to a nine foot to even a 10 foot umbrella. We've got them as far as in stock. So yeah, just, you know, bring back that, uh, that old one so we can try to match up the colors if we possibly can, but a wide variety as far as different colors to choose from for sure. All right, Chad, as always, thanks for your time this morning. Appreciate it. Chad Bromley again at the uh, Highway 105 Major Drive Store for Ritter at Home. They also have locations, Washington Boulevard in Beaumont, plus a couple in uh, Nederland, Hemp Hill, and Buna as well. Uh, as we come back, we'll get you a look at the forecast for the weekend.